Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you are interested in any of those things, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video. sharing with you my current Louis Vuitton handbag collection so if you would like to see my current collection and get my thoughts on it please keep watching so first we're going to start the video off by talking about two items that aren't handbags they're more like toiletry or travel items and the first one that we're going to talk about is my Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch and this is what she looks like I have her in the monogram print and what I love about this cosmetic pouch is that one it is a nice size it's like a medium size so it can fit a lot of things in it then it has the wipeable liner inside so if it get messed up you can easily just wipe it and clean it which I need to do right now because it is pretty messy but the pouch does have an inside pocket here in the back if you want to slide something that's really small inside of there and then you can use this to um, carry in your handbags if you want to like carry makeup in your purse you can use it when you're traveling it's just so multifunctional. you don't even have to use it just for makeup you can pretty much use it for anything you can use it as a catch-all or something like that but I have other pouches that I use for that so this I mainly just leave on my shelf right here and then I'll just toss like everyday products in it that I want to use or just miscellaneous things is this niece BB and this is like one of the trunks I think they come in multiple sizes this is the small mini size and then it comes in like a bigger larger size um, most people that I have seen will use this as a handbag so they will attach a strap to it and carry it as a crossbody bag they also offer this style of a bag as a handbag but this is not something that I would carry as a handbag it just feels kind of awkward to me to have it on my side like this so I don't see myself ever carrying this as a handbag but I do love using this to carry like all of my makeup and beauty products when I travel I like to just sit it on the um, bathroom vanity or on the nightstand somewhere where it's just out of the way but I can easily get to it so this is what the handbag looks like up close and it does have these two zippers here and you just unzip those like this and when you open it up you have another pocket here in the back that you can slide small things in and it's just a big open space so the, this like I said I carry with me when I'm traveling to keep all of my makeup or my beauty products inside of it so that is my niece BB now we're going to move on to handbags and the first handbag that I want to talk about is a mini bag. Now when mini bags first came out I was a little hesitant about purchasing one especially the designer ones because I just felt like the price point was just too much for the size of the bag. It just seemed like they were only $100 or $200 cheaper than the larger size bag so I felt like why don't I just get a bigger bag and I can carry more stuff in it. But I kept seeing this bag popping up everywhere. Every time I saw this bag I just felt in love with it more and more i ended up picking it up in a dupe version and i think i talked about that in my amazon dupe video so please go back and take a look at that video i fell in love with it i just found myself reaching for it over and over and over again so i was like cheryl you would definitely use this bag so i did go ahead and pull the trigger on the louis vuitton ama bb and this is the bag she is a gorgeous. I bought it in the Damier Ebin print. It's one of my favorite prints from Louis Vuitton. I just feel like it's a little more understated. It's not screaming in your face. And I just think it looks really good on this handbag. So I love this handbag. I love the fact that it comes with the strap. So you can wear it crossbody or on the shoulder. But I'm more of a top handle girl. So I mainly carry it like this unless I just need to be hands free then I will carry it as a crossbody. But this handbag carries a lot. I mean, she's small in size, but you can definitely 
fit a ton of stuff in this handbag so if you open it up like this the opening is pretty wide so you don't have too much of a hassle trying to get your items in and out of the bag it's pretty easy to use and it's just an open space on the inside and then you have a pocket here in the back that i think i rarely ever use so um it's a really really nice bag i have the keys to the lock in here i actually don't even oh there's the lock I have the keys to the lock in here just floating around but it's just a really nice bag. I can carry all of my essentials in this bag. I can carry this bag for different occasions if I want to dress it up and do like a dinner date or something like that. Or if I'm just really quickly running out to take care of some business. This is definitely one of my go-to handbags. I love it so much and I'm so happy that I did add it to the collection. I just feel like it will be around for a very, very long time. So that is my Alma BB bag that i want to talk about is not a mini bag it's more of like a medium sized bag to me and when i saw this bag i immediately knew i wanted to get it and it is the louis vuitton pochette matisse i thought this was the most gorgeous handbag ever and it first came out i just thought it was a different take on a bag because obviously everyone was wearing the never fools and the speedies but i didn't really see too many people with this style of bag and I was just drawn to it so I really 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 like it so this is what the handbag looks like the front and the back here with the zipper pocket which is like a full size pocket you can fit a ton in there I keep my phone there it has a strap which is adjustable and you can carry it cross body or on the shoulder and you have your handle here you can carry it as a handheld bag and then you have the little clasp here which makes it easy to open like that. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It just has it stuff. But on the inside, you have a pocket in the back. Then you have a large opening right here where you can put a ton of stuff. And then you also have a pocket here in the front. I just love the look of this bag. And I tend to wear this bag more casually. So I love the way that it looks when I'm just wearing like a casual or an elevated casual outfit. So that is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Now for my last two handbags, they are my largest handbags and my oldest handbags. And they're actually the same. What I have is the Speedy 30 and it is in the Damier Azure print. So it is the white and gray checkered print. And then this one is just the original one. It's not the bandolier version that comes with the strap. Now I kind of wish I would have gotten the bandolier version. Just because I like the way it looks to have that little strap detail on both sides. And then having the option to wear it crossbody or on my shoulder if I needed to be hands free. And I think it was only a couple of hundred dollars more at the time. But I decided against getting it for whatever the reason was at the time. And so I just have the regular speedy version. But I love this bag. She is so gorgeous and so roomy on the inside you can fit a ton of stuff on the inside so it's just like a big open space and then you have a zipper pocket in the back i do keep a shaper in the bag just because i like for it to keep its shape i don't want it to look smashed in and then i also have the liner inside to keep my handbags clean because you know i don't like to get my handbags stained at all I do have a bag insert so that i can keep the inside of my bag clean and kind of organized because the insert does have pockets where I can put certain things so I'm not just digging around in a bottomless pit when I'm trying to look for things so I do like the fact that it has the bag insert on the inside and then I also added the luggage tag with my initial printed on it just because I like the look of this and I wanted to add some character to the bag now, now this bag unfortunately I don't carry it a lot just because I want her to stay in pristine condition like I don't want her handles to get all dirty and with this type of leather it's very easy to get the handbag very dirty like from the oils on your hands the lotion if it gets wet or anything like that so I'm always very very careful when I'm carrying this bag so I did try to sell this handbag twice and I had great offers each time Time, but then I would change my mind at the last minute just because I feel so attached to the bag and I really love the way that she looks so I said that I am going to be very intentional and start carrying this bag more often and I'll just continue to be really careful with the bag when I do carry her because again I want her leather to stay perfect just like this like there are no stain marks there are no watermarks there's nothing 
aging on the handles of this bag and I think I've had this handbag for about seven or ten years so she is just in a perfect condition and I want to keep her that way the thing about Louis Vuitton's handbags is that they hold their value so and this handbag is pretty much double the amount that I paid for her so definitely get your money's worth with these handbags they do hold their value so if you ever wanted to sell them you'll make a really good profit but this handbag I think is going to be in my collection forever and then i have it in the damier bean print as you can probably tell this is my favorite print from louis vuitton i just love how understated it is obviously if you know your designer you know that this is a louis vuitton handbag but i just love the fact that it doesn't have the lb just printed all over the bag now i don't mind it in my smaller items like my small leather goods or even that medium pochette matisse i don't mind it in that size but when the bags get larger i prefer to have them in this print so um it has the same details as the other bag it's just a big open pit on the inside it has a zipper pocket in the back if you can see there and then i also have a liner in this handbag for the same reason although the interior is red i still want her to stay clean so i have the bag insert to kind of help me to keep it clean and to keep it organized and to keep it shaped um this one i don't have to worry about the leather getting dirty so i'm not as careful with this bag i can carry this in any weather conditions i'm not worried about it getting stained because it is that coated leather and i did add this little um, I think it's called a clochette to the handbag with my initials on it just because I love the way that looked. And then I have this scarf here. This is not a Louis Vuitton scarf. I think I picked this up from Etsy or somewhere. And I just love how this look on the bag. I don't always wear it on the bag, but sometimes when I want to just dress the bag up a little bit, I'll add it to the bag. And then I do have my lock here it's starting to tarnish a little bit but i mean the handbag is pretty old so i guess that's to be expected but everything else look really really well that is my speedy 30 so those are the louis vuitton handbags that i own and that brings us to the end of this video if you have any questions please leave those down in the comment section below but before you leave don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye